from Lean Bean Fitness and I'm here with the Lean Bean Fitness crew. We're doing our 100th virtual Lean Bean workout and we are, we are socially distanced, we are legal, um, just FYI. Um, and we're going to be doing a bit of a mashup of all the different workouts we do on virtual Lean Bean. We're going to be starting with a bit of bar, then we're going to go to a bit of a power circuit, a bit of boxing, um, a little bit of bum, and then we'll finish with a stretch. Yeah? Cool. Um, a couple of us will be doing high intensity, a couple of us will be doing low intensity, so there's all options for everyone, so you won't miss out. Okay, we're going to start with feet nice and wide, so just taking the feet a little bit wider than hip width, just take a big side stretch, reaching up and over, lengthen out through that side waist, and lifting all the way up over to the other side. You can have a slight bend through the knees here. Good, one more each side. Really reach as far as you can, over. Good, come through center and just reach your arms all the way up over the head, interlace your hands behind the head, push your head back into your hands and just lean back. Pull one elbow up to the ceiling, get that arm stretch. And then the other side. Take your arms in front of you, tuck chin to chest, keep them interlaced and just take a bit of a pull from side to side, getting through that upper back. And then as if you've just woken up, take a big stretch, big yawn all the way up, ripple down through the spine. Bend those knees, cross those elbows over and just sway from side to side, just releasing the spine, lengthening out. Good, and then just releasing the arms down, slowly rolling all the way up. Roll the shoulders up and back, turn the toes out so you're in a wide second position. Arms are coming out by your side, so you're reaching those arms out nice and wide and stretching up and down and up. Keep going, down and up. As you're coming up, you're really pulling those inner thighs towards each other, glutes engaging, shoulders relaxed. Have we got it behind there? <laughs> Good. <laughs> They're not even doing it, I bet. <laughs> Good, four to go. Four, three, two, Hold it down there, tiny little pulses. You're gonna lift one heel and then the other. And lift and lift and lift. Stay nice and low through the legs, working through those ankles. Nice and smooth on the way down with those ankles. We've got eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Both heels lower. You're gonna lift all the way up. Lift one leg, lift the arm, lower back down. And lift and lower and lift and lower. Try and get the arm up by your ear so you're really using your belly as you lift that leg. Good. Over and down. Over and down. Had a collision behind me. We're all doing well. Lift. Down. Good. Four more. Three. Two. Last one, hold it down there. Take the arms up over the head. So you're reaching those arms up by your ears. Pulse down through the legs. Feel that burn through the thighs. We've got eight, seven, six, five. Sink as low as you can. Four, three, two. Turn the toes forwards, reach down to the floor. Reach all the way up. Now, if you want to, you can take this a little bit faster. You're welcome to take a jump. If you're jumping, follow a couple of the girls behind me. Emma, by the... <laughs> Emma, to my left. We're all feeling a little bit lazy, but with, with whatever option you're doing, try and go for pace. Get that heart rate up. We've got four to go. Three, two, last one. Hold it down there, tiny pulses. Keep the knees bent, keep the back nice and straight. Reach those fingertips down to the floor. Tiny, tiny pulses. In four, we're going to straighten those legs. Two and one. We're going to straighten, lift the arms up by your shoulders and lower. And straighten and lower. Imagine your back is like a tabletop and you're trying to lift those arms up by your shoulders. So you're really squeezing those shoulder blades together. Use those back muscles. Really good for your posture. Whole back of your body working to lift those arms. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. Lift and lower. For four, 
Good, get the weight back in those heels, get the glutes working for two. Hold it up there. And interlace your hands behind the back, just fold over the legs. Little breather, slowly roll all the way up. Turn those feet out into that second position again. Sink down into a plie, so arms out nice and wide. We're gonna to pivot towards the right foot. Arm comes up over the head, pivot, and open back out. Let's go. Pivot, and open. So you wanna stay low through the legs. That back knee just dropping down to the floor. Arm coming up and over. Whew. Why can't I hear heavy breathing and I'm dying? <laughs> They're not trying hard enough, I know. Four more. Three. Two, we're gonna stay facing towards that right leg. Stay facing towards that right leg. Reach those arms out, relax those shoulders. In eight, we're gonna lift that knee, lift that left knee into your chest. Four, three, two. Lift the left knee into your chest, reach the arms down by your side, oh, sorry, and then land back down. And lift and land. If again, you wanna take cardio option, you're gonna take a hop at the top and land. Go on then, yes. My minions demonstrating. Perfectly, good. If you're not jumping really, squeezing that right bum cheek. Eight to go. If you're jumping, get as high as you can each time. Four more, three, two. Hold it up there, hold that knee up there. Good, from here we're gonna balance. You're gonna reach those arms out by your ears, extend your back leg behind you. Lift as high as you can. Now you're gonna tuck into a ball, so tuck everything in, and then extend forwards. And tuck, and extend. And tuck, and extend. We really wanna work that supporting right leg. Finding that balance. Little wobbles are good. Good, nearly there. Three. Two, and last one, hold it out there, hold the leg out, hold the arms out, tiny pulses up and down. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. Place the hand down, step that left foot behind you, you're in a lunge. You're gonna tuck that left foot in, left foot, that's it, and then tuck it back. Cool, tuck it in, and back, tuck it in, and back, no weight on that left foot. Get that right leg to burn, bend a little bit deeper into that right leg. In and back, in and back. Good. That right leg should really be burning. We've got four more. Ah, three, two, and one. Step back into downward dog. Give that right leg a good shake. Okay, nice, we're gonna ripple forwards into a high plank. Draw one knee into the side of the elbow and then pull back into downward dog. Keep going, pull in and back. Pull in and back. We wanna use the side of the waist, those obliques, to squeeze that knee nice and high. Aim for the tricep, tap and down. Tap and down. For four, three, two. Hold it down there. Stay in your plank, just keep switching from one side to the other. And squeeze, and squeeze. If you wanna take this up a little bit faster, you're gonna go straight from one side to the other, nice and fast. Good, girls. Get those knees as wide as you can. Eight to go. In four, three, two, and one. Downward dog, walk your feet in towards your hands. Slight bend through those knees, slowly rolling all the way up, turning to face the front, sinking down into that plie, arms up by your sides, tiny pulses, breathe. Okay, we're gonna pivot over towards the left in four, three, two, arm comes up over. So we come up and over and back, up and over and back. Really important, you're keeping your breathing nice and fluid not holding your breath. Six to go. Sink low through the legs. Two, last one, stay facing towards that left leg. Tiny pulses down with that back knee. Bend it a little bit deeper. Good, get low for four, 
three, two, right knee up into chest, arms down by your sides, and lower, and lift, and lower. If you're hopping, go for that hop. Get as high as you can, and as low as you can to the floor. If you're not hopping, really squeezing that left bum cheek. <sighs> Nearly there. Five to go. Three. And hold it up there, hold it up. Okay, find that balance. Extending those arms out by your ears, extend the leg out behind you and tuck into a ball, and tuck, extend, and tuck, extend. Br push the air out as you tuck, extend, inflate. Those wobbles are so good for you, resist them. Feel that left leg starting to burn, looks like it is. Two more, and last one. Hold the leg out, hold the arms out, pulse up. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one, hands down, but don't take any weight off that left foot. Okay, let's go, tap in and back. Tap in and back. Keep your chest connected to that front thigh. In, in. Good, nearly there. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and downward dog. Nice work. Okay, the bar section is over. We're going to go straight into a power circuit. So I'll talk you through the exercises as we go. The first combo for your one minute, you're going to be in a high plank position. You're going to take two knee to outside of triceps. One push-ups, one push-up, either on your knees or in a full plank, and then one downward dog. So you go knee, knee, one push-up into downward dog. Okay, we've got a minute here. All right, so a minute, and then I'll tell you your next combo as in your 10-second break. Okay, are we ready? Find your high plank position. Knee, knee, one push-up, downward dog. Let's go. Remember, you can drop your knees here. I'm going to drop my knees for that push-up. If you can... You stay in the plank. Keep your breath going. Breathing out to push away from the floor. Always breathing out on the hard bit. We're halfway. So we've got 20 seconds to go. And we're going to flip onto our backs for a little ab exercise. Eight seconds. Keep going. See if you can fit in a couple more. Three, two, and one. Flip over onto your back. Okay, so we've got two reverse curls. So arms are going to be down by your sides. You're taking a little lift of your bum. Two of these. And then one full sit up, all the way up, all the way down, arms down by the floor. Okay, two, and then one full sit up. Okay, are we ready? Are we set? Let's go. Okay, now, if anyone that's following this isn't doing abs for any reason, you can always be on your hands here, fingertips out, and you can go for hip lifts. If you want to add a couple of pulses, you can do, okay? So that's your option if you're not doing abs. If not, if you're doing those reverse curls, try and not let your feet go up to the ceiling. You want to keep your feet as close to your bum as possible, so you're getting that little tuck just using your belly. So girls, you can all lower your feet. See where my feet are? Really close to the bum, that's it. Relax them, don't let them go up to the ceiling. It's a lot harder. To make this even more challenging, when you come up, hands across the chest, maybe hands behind the head. The closer your feet are to your bum, the harder it will be to get up. Okay, so there are ways you can up the intensity. We've got 10 seconds to go. Keep moving. Ugh. 
in three, two, and one. We're going to jump up to stand. So we've got two squats and then one crawl out. So we've got two squats all the way down, all the way up. And then you're going to crawl all the way into a high plank, crawl all the way back. If you're taking the intensity up, you're going to do two jump squats, one crawl out, crawl all the way back. Okay, one minute. Are we ready? Are we set? And let's go. Down, squeeze. If you're jumping especially, let's go super fast. With those squats, you want to think about knees pushing out. So try not to let the knees drop in. Push them out over your toes. Nice high jumps there. We're halfway. Good. Keep it going. 15 seconds to go. Get as low to the floor as you can with those crawl outs. Bend the legs. Five, four, three, two, and one. Nice work. Okay, last one of this circuit. We're going to be down in a plank position. Now we're going to be on our forearms. We're going to be doing a side plank. Lift the top leg. We roll over to the side plank, other side, lift the top leg. We come to center, come up onto the hands, come down to the elbows. Then we go back into it. Lift and lift, come up onto the hands, come down to the elbows. You can do this on your knees, so you can come up onto your hands if you're doing it onto your knees. Lift the top leg, lift the top leg, down, down, up, up. Okay, last one. Are we all good girls? Yes. Yes, good girls. Okay, are we ready? Are we set? Down on those forearms. Off we go. Lift and switching over to the other side. The aim with this one is to keep as still through the hips as possible. So you'll notice when you come up, your hips will want to wobble from side to side like this. We're going to try and keep them as still as possible. Easier said than done, I know. Just halfway now. You don't need to rush this one. Nice, slow and steady. All the little shakes are so good. 25 seconds to go. Remember, drop your knees at any point. 10 seconds. Five, four, Three, two, and one. We're going to stay here because we're going straight into our last round of it. So one minute on each thing. I'll tell you what's coming up. So the first one, we've got those two knees to triceps, one push-up, one downward dog. Okay, we're going to go a little bit faster. And if anyone wants to add on for this round, once you're in downward dog, you take a bum kick. Okay? I'm demonstrating that once and once only. From now on, if anyone wants to take that, you're welcome to. Okay, are we ready? Find your plank position. Two knee to triceps. Three, two, and one. Off we go. Knee, knee. One push up, downward dog. Bum kick, if you want. One, two. Exactly. Mel said, the more, Easter, the more jumps you do, the more Easter eggs you can eat. And I said that in one of the workouts at Easter time. <laughs> it, it, don't take that as fact, but, <laughs> but we can pretend, eh? 25 seconds. Good, girls. <sighs> Almost there, 10 seconds to go. Next one on our backs. Three, two, and one. Flipping over onto our backs. We've got those two reverse curls, two reverse curls, one full sit up. Okay, are we ready? Are we set? Off we go. 
Remember, try and keep those feet as close to the bum as possible. Full sit up, easiest option, arms down by your sides, hardest option across the chest or behind your head. The closer your feet are to your bum, the harder it gets. So if you need to take the feet further away, that's okay. Do what you need, use your breath. Nice and smooth, down through the spine. Push through those hands. Anyone else struggling to get up or is that just me? 20 seconds. And if you make noises like, that helps. I can't get up without it. Five, four, three, two, and one. Jesus. Okay, second to last one. We've got those two squats or squat jumps. One crawl out and then back, okay? So if you're taking those squat jumps, get nice and high. Are we ready? Good. Let's go. Down, up, down, up. Good. Fast as you can on that crawl. You're not doing this circuit again, so give it all you got. A minute is a really long time to be on a combination, so you're going to be really working your stamina, getting your endurance up. Try not to stop when your mind's telling you to stop. You can probably keep going. 20 seconds. Your last one, we're going to be finishing with that plank, side plank. Almost there. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, down onto your forearms. We're in that side plank, side plank star, side plank star, lifting up, coming back down. Okay, last one. Ready, set, off we go. This one, remember we can slow down, focus on keeping those hips as still as possible. When they're not talking, it's, it's always a good thing. If you can't talk, that's a good general census. Everything's having to work. After this, we're going on to a boxing circuit. Again, just two rounds. Oh, 10 seconds to go. Oh, three, two, and one. Sorry, I fell over almost. Okay, coming up to stand. We're going to get the adrenaline pumping. We're gonna get your heart racing with this boxing set. Okay, so same thing, we're going to do a minute on each combo, a minute on each combo, four exercises, and then we're going to repeat that twice. So really quick, after this you're basically done. Okay, so first one, we're going to have left foot forwards, right leg back. So we're going to do the whole first round on um, left foot forwards, right leg back, and then we'll do the whole second round with the other one. So left foot forwards, right foot back. We're going to do two boxing punches with your left hand, so left arm. So you're coming up from the chin, and you're punching, punching, and then crossing with your right arm. So we go punch, punch, cross, lunge down with that back right knee, pull the hands into waist, kick forwards, and come back where you were. So we go punch, punch, cross, lunge, kick, okay? So, should we do it slightly on and No, we'll do it, we'll do it facing on. Is that all right? Yeah, well, let's hope you've got it, okay. Are we ready? Left foot forwards, right leg back, slight bend through the knees, fists up by your chin. Let's go. Punch, punch, cross, down, kick. Punch, punch, cross, down, kick. Punch, punch, cross, down, kick. I'm going to demonstrate from the side just so you can see. Keep going, girls. So you've got a slight bend through that back knee. You're doing those two punches with the left. Cross over as fast as you can. 
bend before you kick. And on that kick, you're really leaning back, bringing those fists into chest. Boom, boom, down. Keep the belly button pulled in. So you're keeping your core engaged. And imagine your worst enemy, or maybe a politician, is standing in front of your foot. Depends what country you're from, which politician. It's very controversial. Standard me. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, nice work. So second one. We're going to have same same thing with your feet. So left foot forward, right foot back still. You're just going to be um, bringing that back knee in, in, in every time. So a little bit of a knee repeater. As you do this, you're just going to be punching across the body, down to the floor, and then you punch across, up to the ceiling. Okay? So we're going to punch and punch. You want to go nice and fast, nice and powerful with these punches. We're going to stay with this leg the whole minute. Are you ready? Let's go. So the more you bend that left leg, the more burn you'll get through that glute. You really want to cross those arms over to work your waist. Get as low to the floor as you can before traveling back up. Every punch, super powerful. Get low, get low, get low. Get low. Twenty-five seconds. You want to really feel that left bum cheek firing up. Twenty seconds. Oh. Go. Keep going. Five, four, three, two, and. So, second to last one. We're going to do two hooks, two uppercuts, one curtsy. So, you've got a slight bend through the knees, feet uh, hip a little bit wider than hip distance, slight bend through the knees, and you're going to tuck in. So, you're going to do hook, fist down to the floor, that's it, and then hook, and then one uppercut. So, uppercut, you're imagining someone's chin is there, and you're going up and under. Very aggressive. But, yeah, we, not that we can do that, but that's what you've got to imagine. Okay, so you've got those two hooks with the pivot of the toes, hook, Upper, upper, you're going to step behind, curtsy, come back. Hook, hook, upper, upper, curtsy, and back. If you're upping the intensity, you're going to go curtsy, back, one jump. Squat jump. Okay, so two hooks, two uppers, one curtsy. Come back to that squat. If you want to take the jump, you're welcome. I'll be ready. Yes, we are. Let's go. Hook, hook, upper, upper. Curtsy, back to center, jump squat. Hook, hook, upper, upper. Curtsy, center. Good. Hook, hook. With those curtsies, you really want to get that back knee down to the floor. Get as low as you can before you come back up. These boxing punches are tight to the body. You don't want to be arms flailing out there, really close to your body. So good for your heart rate and your stress levels. Fifteen seconds to go. If you're adding that jump, try and go a little bit higher. on this iPad. Three, two, and one. Sorry about that. I was like, someone's left their phone on. Um, okay, so last one. We're going to be doing four boxing punches to the side. So side bend through the knees. We're going to take a little hop, a little bounce from side to side. So we're going to go one, two, three, four. That same arm goes across to opposite knee for four, three, two, one, so it's like an oblique crunch, so you're pulling that elbow into knee. Then we go one, two, three, four, and cross, 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 cross. If you're taking it up a bit, 
you really want to bounce into this and bounce across, okay? Or you just keep it nice and soft through the knees. Last one. Are we ready? Let's go. Two, three, four. Cross. Two, three, four. One. Other side. Three, four. Always one. Two, three. Make it big. Good. We can get a little bit bouncier, I think. Oh, we're all in time. What is this? Yeah. I'm not sure I can keep up the pace, to be honest. Halfway. Cross. Cross. Big crunch. Let's get higher on those hops if you're hopping. 20 seconds. Cross. Cross. Almost there. Keep it up. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay. Last round. Last round. So we're going to have right foot forwards, left foot back this time. God, every time I, I got a, I've got a big, massive brace on that you can probably see, and when I talk, I'm like, Ugh, I start to spill over my, my mouth. So um, I hope you can still understand me. So we're going to have right foot forward, left foot back. We've got those two punches. So you're going to do two punches with your right, one cross with your left, uh, lunge and kick. Lunge and kick, yes, that's it. So two punches, cross with the left, lunge down, kick forwards. Are we good? Okay, let's do this. Ready, go. Punch with the right, cross, lunge down, kick. Punch, punch, cross, down, kick. Punch, punch, cross, down, kick. Remember, we're getting powerful with that kick. Lean back, lead with the heel. You want to feel your leg shaking, wobbling. You're over halfway. Keep pushing. Bend that back knee as low as you can. Ten seconds to go. Five, four, three, two, and one. Okay, so keeping that right foot there, keeping the left foot back. We've got those knee in, punching, traveling down to the floor. We're getting as low as you can, as high as you can. Okay, are we ready? Off we go. Punch, punch, get low, get low. Bend that right leg some more. Up we come. Ooh. You've already worked the other leg. You need to give this one just as much attention. So keep pushing through. Don't want to be uneven. Halfway. Anyone else? Right bum cheek. The reason I'm like this, by the way, is not because it's the move. I just can't keep still. I'm wobbling. I'm wobbling. 15 seconds. Oh. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. That was so real. That was so real. Okay. Second to last one. Two hooks. Two uppercuts, one curtsy, one squat jump. Remember, if you don't want to do that squat jump, you're just going to follow me. Okay, are we ready? Off we go. Hook, hook, upper, upper. Curtsy, back to center. Squat jump. Even when you're curtsying, you want to have your hips forward. So if you feel like you're twisting towards that front leg, you want to keep those hips facing forward so your legs are crossing. You should feel those inner thighs touching. <sighs> Q. 
keep that bend through the knee. 15 seconds. Five seconds. Keep moving. And nice, stopping there. Okay, last one, girls, last one. So we've got, what have we got? Four punches, okay. Four boxing punches, four knee to elbow, okay? This is our last one. Then we've only got a tiny little bum section, and then we're done. Okay, soft bend through the knees. Four punches, four knees to elbow. Let's go. One, two, three, four. Yeah, I need the motivation from all of you to keep going. Good, nice bouncing. So you can make this whatever high, whatever intensity you want. Get high with those knees to elbows if you can. Huh? That's okay. We can't be good at left and right as well as do this. Yes, where you lose brain cells. Twenty seconds. Last little bit of cardio. Good, good, good. One minute, feels long. Three, two, and one, well done, okay. We're not just done, we're not done. We've got five minutes to go, okay? We're gonna be down on all fours. Can move this away, okay. We're gonna be down on all fours, and you're gonna have your right forearm down, so you're up on the left hand. Everyone ready? Yeah. I'm just going to talk through it and you can just join in. Okay, so you're going to kick out with your left leg. Kick out to the side. Drop it down to the floor. Keep it straight, keep it straight. That's it. Lift it back up. Pull it back in. So we kick to side. Lower. Oh, sorry, you can't see me. Yeah, so I'm going to go this way. So you kick to the side. You lower it down. You lift it up. Pull it back in. Okay, so we kick. Lower. Lift. Pull back in. Keep going. Kick. Lower. Lift. Pull back in. So you're keeping that side leg straight as you lower it. Pull it back in. Kick, lower. Tiny little shakes through the glutes. Four more. Kick, lower. Lift, pull. Kick, lower. Lift, pull. Last one. Kick, Lower, lift, hold it there, hold it to the side, hold it nice and straight. We're going to lift it all the way up and around behind you, tap the toe to the floor. Lift all the way up and around you to the side, tap the toe to the floor. So you're doing a big windmill with that back leg. Tap it down, tap it out. Tap it down, tap it out. Now you'll be feeling this through the knee you're kneeling on, so you'll be feeling it through the right bum cheek, also the left, and also your abs as you bring that leg to the side. Really good core exercise. Nice and big, we wanna go big with that windmill, all the way up and over. Four more, four, three, two. Next one, hold it out to the side, hold it out to the side. Pull the knee in, we're gonna kick out to the side. So we're gonna pull in, kick, in, kick, as fast as you can. Knees all the way together, and then fully extend the leg. Power, power, power. Faster, girls. I'm saying that because I can't go faster. They hate me. Eight more. Seven, six, five, four, three, two. Hold the leg out there. Pulse it up for eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, and one. That's definitely harder for me having to talk, but okay, are we ready? Other side. I'm turning around so you can see me. You, can, you guys can stay that way. Okay, so we're now down on the left forearm, up on the right fingertips. Kick to the side, lower it down, lift it up, pull it back in. Kick, lower, lift, pull back in. Kick, lower, lift, pull back in. All we've got to do is stretch after this. 
all we want to do. Your bum cheeks should be struggling. Oh, mine too. Two more. This side's going to be harder because you've already worked the other one. Last one. Hold it up. Windmill, all the, rainbow, all the way up and down behind you, all the way out to the side, tap the toe. All the way up and around, all the way up. The aim is to get that side leg up towards your right elbow, so you really want to make it big. Get as high as you can with that leg, so you're using your belly. Nice control. Three to go, then we're going to hold it to the side. Two. Last one, hold it to the side. Bend the knee, pull it in. Kick it out, fast as you can. Kick. So good for your circulation. Get the blood flowing around that leg. Power out that kick. Imagine you're kicking me, that probably helps. Kick, kick, kick. Six more. Four, three, two. Hold it to the side, pulse it up for eight, seven, Six, five, four, three, two, and one. Oh, well done. Good work, team. We're going to stretch. We're going to have a little stretch. Just come onto your bum. You've got to stretch those glutes out. Okay, so you're going to come onto your bum, hands behind you. Take your right foot across your left knee and just push that right knee away. So angle it away. Lift your bum off the floor and arch your back slightly. And just take a bit of a side swing from side to side, get in through that side hip. It's a good one where you can't be bothered to get on the floor, but you need a stretch. Okay, and then just lowering your bum down, extend that left leg along the floor. Keep that right knee where it is, just cross it over a bit more, and now land over that underneath leg. So you really want to flex the toes, we'll get into the calf and the hamstring, relax the head as much as possible. And breathe. <sighs> Hamstrings and calves are so painful. Try and relax into it. And then just lifting up. Lift that knee and just take a bit of a twist over towards the front bent knee. Rinse out that spine. And come back through centre. Feet down, hands behind you, crossing over left foot over right knee. Push that left knee away, arching slightly through the back and just taking that rock. Little swing from side to side, get a bit deeper through the hips. You might find areas that are a bit tighter and you want to hold. Keep pushing that left knee away. And then bum down. Extend that underneath leg, flex the toes, cross the knee over, and then fall over that underneath leg. One side's always a bit tighter than the other, so. Deep breaths. And lifting up, taking a little twist over towards that front bent knee. And then just releasing, extend the legs in front of you. Just wiggle the legs. You want to get the blood flowing. Get the circulation going. This is really good for your circulation. I love doing it. You'll feel great after. Take a big stretch up to the ceiling. And let it all out. We are all done. Now we can clap ourselves. Good work at home. Thank you so much for joining us on our 100th workout. It's amazing to be all in the same room together. Legally, we are allowed. But um, yeah, it's been a while. So, so good to see you all. And we will see you very soon on Virtual Lean Bean. Yay! Woo!